It's been called the war the world forgot. The ongoing conflict in Yemen has seen thousands of deaths and millions of people internally displaced. A coalition of nine countries led by Saudi Arabia has been bombing rebel targets in support of the government. And the coalition yesterday announced it will form a high-level independent committee to investigate UN allegations that bombing raids, aerial raids, have deliberately struck civilian targets. Back in the UK, questions have been raised about the role of the British military advisers in the bombing campaign. One of those raising the questions is Shadow International Development Secretary Diane Abbott. What would you like this independent committee to verify exactly? Well, first of all, we need to be clear where the government stands in relation to law and in relation to arms treaties. Because ministers have been saying, well, there's been no deliberate humanitarian outrages by the Saudis. But the law doesn't say it has to be deliberate to stop you selling arms. The law says, is there a risk of humanitarian um, outrages happening? And we know, because we can see what's been happening in Yemen, that there's been a series. I think MSF has had four hospitals bombed. Mm. And so I, I, we believe that the government may be in breach of treaties that it's signed. And that's what one of the things we should look at. Now, you're worried about British personnel being in breach, or British government being in breach of international law. What is it that you think British personnel have been involved in? Well, we're told that they've been helping um, the Saudis um, with targets to make sure there is no breach of humanitarian law. Well, they've clearly not been very successful. Right. <laughs> they, they may not have been successful because, as you say, the accounts certainly are that civilians have been hit. Yes. Um, and targeted or not, no doubt, lawyers will pour over that. But, as you say, British personnel have been involved, you think, in trying to minimise civilian casualties. We, is that not the point of the We know being... they're involved, but we don't know exactly what they're doing and I think we need more transparency and we also we need an examination as to whether we are actually in breach of arms treaties that we have signed. I mean are the Saudis in your mind or the Saudi-led coalition I mean have they committed war crimes as some rights groups have said? Well, these are very serious allegations and we need to look into them. Certainly, I mean, I think currently the UN is saying that Yemen is on the edge of humanitarian crisis and of, of a food crisis. So clearly that Saudi-led coalition has not, you know, has created havoc in what is the second largest country in the region. And Tobias Elwood, um, the Foreign Office Minister, says, you know, not you, but one is naive to think uh, that Britain cannot sell weapons systems to allies. I mean, this is what happens. This is the real quality of... I'm afraid of Tobias Elwood global. hasn't read the legislation. He hasn't read the treaties. We should not be selling arms to regimes where there is a possibility that they will be perpetrating humanitarian Right. Outrages. Is that the wording that there'll be a po possibility? Because at the moment, of course, I'll we don't know, wording. do we? Because the committee I'll hasn't actually the reported. Wording. The law, and that's the Export Control Act, the EU Common Position, and the Arms Trade Treaty, the law is about risk not intent. Right. Elwood seems to think it's about intent. It's actually about risk. And the risk is huge. We've seen it mm. from all the NGOs reports and now from what the UN is saying. There's a very serious risk which this government is turning a blind eye to it. And I think we should not be colluding in humanitarian outrages in Yemen. And well, also, who's to say that because we've always done it, uh, it's right to continue to do it? Sometimes well, we need to question uh, yeah. the Dubai impact. Of, yeah, the, we need to question the impact of our foreign policy. Right. Uh, there is, of course, uh, a reality on the ground, though, um, Diane Abbott, which is that people in Yemen desperately need aid and they desperately need help, um, and that working with the Saudi-led coalition, backing the president, may be the only way to get that aid to them. Or it may be that the bombing and the deaths of thousands of people is making the humanitarian catastrophe worse. That is my view. I think we should suspend the sale of arms until we're absolutely clear that it's not outside the law. And we should understand that we're making the humanitarian situation worse.